Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena episode 77 for Wednesday, December 23rd, 2015. Your apps. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. Now, as we round down the year, I continue to get some really interesting app submissions by developers who follow this show. First and foremost, thank you for those submissions because I feel strongly in my ability to kind of pick out some interesting up-and-comers and shine a light on them. I know how difficult it can be to get some good exposure when you're just starting out with a new app. This, I think, anyways, is a great way to do that. And that's probably why you guys are sending me your apps. So I appreciate it. So let's get to the apps that we have for this time around, shall we? Three apps created by you in this week's roundup. What is it with all these apps with names that make it hard to figure out exactly what they do? Take this app, for example, Tasty Recipes. I mean, seriously, Tasty Recipes, what does that even mean? Okay, obviously, I'm being totally facetious. Jacopo, who submitted this app for inclusion today, created a fantastic recipe app with a name that's thankfully impossible to misunderstand. Tasty Recipes starts out with a very faithful material design. The recent view shows some of the latest recipes to hit the service, and the large image tiles are inviting, as they should be when you're talking about delicious dishes like these. You can narrow the view to appetizers, first courses, main courses, vegetarian, and desserts, and each category contains a seemingly endless scroll of recipes down below. Tap into one and all the details are all there. Portion size, how difficult the recipe is to make, and that's denoted by little mustachioed chef hats. How long preparation is going to take. And finally, how long it'll take to cook and serve up. You'll get a thorough list of the ingredients and, of course, a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to whip that all together. Up top, you have one-touch access to a kitchen timer, and you can actually create multiple timers for different uses, if you like. Also, you can tap the shopping cart button to put together a shopping list from the ingredients in that recipe. All items will appear there to start, so you can just tap as you go, removing items as you happen to grab them off the shelves at the store. And favoriting a recipe will add it to your favorites list, so you'll make sure you never lose it. The cookbook section is a bit more all-encompassing with all those categories, plus a few more, a few more categories like convenient, uh, which are dishes that won't take a whole lot of time to make. And if you want to drill down to specifics, the search up top has some powerful filter options like eliminating recipes that require an oven or only showing recipes that have no dairy inside them. And finally, in the utilities section, you can fire off a round of fridge roulette Enter in the ingredients you already have and let Tasty Recipes pick a recipe for you. Check it all out for free in the Play Store. This next app might be just a tad late for the Christmas gift buying rush this year. Well, to be fair, you still have another day or two to shop, but regardless, it could come in handy for next Christmas and, heck, even birthdays. Matthew submitted his app called Listmas. And it's all about giving you a tool to create and share your own list of gifts that you'd like to find under the tree. We'll start by naming our new list, Jason's Rad List. That works. Okay, now comes the fun part. Fantasizing about all the awesome things I want. Now, down at the bottom, you have a few different ways to do this, to add to the list. I can scan the UPC code if I'm in a store and I have that handy. I can snap a photo of the item and it'll import that image into the list. If all I have is a URL, let's say a link to an Amazon item, I can just go ahead and paste that in there. Or I can do a search for a particular product, and that'll pull back the Amazon product pages for any item that you search for. A nice image of that item is then imported into the list for a more graphical approach. And if you've paid the 99 cents for the full version, 
you can then rank all of your items to show which ones matter most to you, and those that matter most will appear at the top. Now, once you've populated a list that you can be proud of, you can share the list to the mylistmas.com website. This allows you to easily share that URL with the people who might, you know, be inclined to buy that stuff for you. And if they do decide to buy an item from the list, they can mark it as purchased so someone else doesn't buy one too. Now, sure, let's forget about the fact that I can easily check in on my list to see what items were bought, thereby removing the surprise of Christmas morning, but hey, have some self-control, people. Listmas is a great way to build product lists and can be found for free in the Play Store with a 99-cent upgrade inside the app. I'm kind of fascinated with random tidbits of information. I guess that's why I like the app developed by Abdo called Merlin. The app itself is incredibly simple. Abdo curates a number of very random but interesting facts and notes from Reddit and then publishes them to Merlin on a daily basis. Now, launching the app, you get a running list of each day's facts as they appeared in the past. Did you know that mixing drinks with diet soda gets you drunk 18% faster than with regular soda? No, neither did I. And I'm not even sure if that's true, but Merlin says it's true, and I'm inclined to believe him. Seriously, when has the Reddit hive mind ever been wrong? You can activate the daily notification in settings and set a specific time for that notification to come through and then simply wait for the random fact to appear on your device. Okay, so there really isn't much to Merlin, but it's designed well for what it is. It might give you the random knowledge you need to, I don't know, win a board game or something, or maybe even just be enlightened. The app is open source and completely free. Find Merlin in the Play Store now. No doubt about it, Merlin is pretty stripped down, but even the developer admitted to me uh, when he submitted it that it's simply a way for him to explore uh, developing in the Kotlin programming language. And I don't know, it looks nice, just a bit light on content at the moment. Uh, hopefully that will improve over time. You guys are always sending your apps to me. I like it a lot. Keep doing that, please. If you're a developer and you want your app considered for a future episode, just send the details to me at arena at twit.tv. Let me know kind of what your app is all about and you know kind of where it came from, all that kind of stuff. I promise to give it a look. All right, up next, a way to take one of Android's newer features to speed up while web browsing. Today's big app requires a little bit of background on something called Chrome Custom Tabs. This is a feature for developers that allows them to completely customize the look and feel of Chrome in a way that integrates inside their apps seamlessly. This includes the toolbar color, animations, uh, Chrome's saved passwords and autofill, full access to those, as well as noticeable improvements to browsing speed and the ability to prefetch content on the fly. It's also much more secure. Essentially, it's a much better and faster way to bring the web experience into an app without resorting to the older, slower method called WebView. There you go, there's your education. Not all developers have tapped into Chrome custom tabs for web browsing within the app, and that is where the app called Chromer comes in. Chromer is a low footprint browser that works as a Chrome custom tab, meaning that once I've set Chromer as my default for when I click web links, any link that is clicked will be pushed over and loaded much quicker inside Chromer than they do within even the fully featured Chrome web browser. It's like a lightweight Chrome browser, bringing with it extra speed and security. Not only that, all the rendering benefits of the fully functional Chrome browser are included. In the settings, you can dial in how the browser animates when it appears and the color of the header bar, among a few other isolated tweaks. But this isn't a standalone browser. It's specifically meant for the links that you click while you're inside other apps. Instead of those links loading inside a slower browser, they load inside Chromer hopefully saving you some time. Find Chromer for yourself in the Play Store now. Chromer is one of those apps that's kind of hard to show in B-roll because it's such a light, lightweight, low footprint app. It's really designed to be that way. So the proof 
ends up being in day-to-day -day use. So you notice it over time. So definitely check it out and see if you like it better than rendering uh, your web pages in anything else you happen to be using. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv as usual, or you can post those to the subreddit at androidapparena.reddit.com and everybody gets to see them that way. Programming note, next week's episode is a pre-recorded episode as the Twit Studios will be dark for the holiday. I'll be showing a handful of my favorite app reviews from this year. Just be sure to check your feed next Wednesday for the new episode or visit the show page, of course, uh, at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I'll see you next week in the arena. <laughs>